The Bible tells the story of a mighty man named Samson. Before his birth, the angel of the Lord announced to Samson's mother that she would bear a son who would save Israel from their enemies, the Philistines. The Holy Spirit would fill him with miraculous strength, so long as he never cut his hair. In time, Samson, who is named after the son, grew up to perform many great and powerful deeds. But Samson loved a Philistine woman outside the faith named Delilah, who betrayed him for silver into the hands of his Gentile enemies. Delilah helped the Philistines cut Samson's hair. He didn't realize the Lord had forsaken him until his enemies had already overpowered him. Samson, the man named after the sun, was blinded and taken away in bonds to prison. When the festival of their idol god, Dagon, had arrived, the Philistines decided to bring Samson out to be mocked and scorned. The Philistines didn't realize that Samson's hair had begun to sprout, and his strength had secretly returned. Stationed between the two central pillars of the temple, Samson stretched out his arms to each side and asked God to take vengeance on his enemies. Then, pushing with all his might against the two pillars, Samson collapsed the temple, achieving his greatest victory in death by killing 3,000 Philistines. Does this story point to Jesus? Like Samson, before Jesus was born, an angel announced to Jesus' mother that she would bear a son who would save his people from their sins. Like Samson, Jesus grew up to perform many great and powerful deeds. But like Samson, Jesus was betrayed for silver into the hands of his enemies. They took him away in bonds and plucked out the hair from his beard. Then they blindfolded Jesus, the light of the world, and mocked and scorned him like Samson. The Lord had utterly forsaken him. Stationed between the two thieves on the cross, Jesus stretched out his arms to each side like Samson. As he died, the veil in the temple was torn in two, bringing an end to worship in the Jerusalem temple that would soon fall, not one stone remaining on another. But Jesus was the living sprout from the dead stump of Jesse and the royal house of David, who, like Samson, was destined to arise in newness of strength. However, unlike Samson, Jesus' greatest victory was celebrated in his resurrection. For unlike Samson, after all his tortures, instead of vengeance, Jesus had prayed for forgiveness for his enemies. And thanks to his abundant mercy, on Pentecost, 3,000 people would be saved.